This will be part seven of the JavaScript putting it all together videos. And what we, we will do in this video is we'll learn how to add multiple records at one time. Currently, this is the file called whole project that you've been working with in the other six videos. And currently in your index.js file, you've written a route for the root directory, a route for delete student, for adding a student get, and an adding student post, and an add get, or a, sorry, a get for the uh, update student route, and a post for the update student route. And this allows you to go and insert records, edit, edit records, and delete records. Well, we want to go ahead and do a new route. And we want this route to be a post route because we're going to update um, data on our server. And we're going to say app.post. And we're going to give it a name of add, uh, sorry, backslash add batch. That'll be the route name. And then we'll do our arrow function where we receive a request and a response. And there's our arrow. And then we'll do our curly brace because we're going to start writing our code. Working with our code, we want to use our connect object, which allows us to connect to the database. And in the connect, we want to specify that we're going to work with the student table. And in that student table, we want to go ahead and insert. And we want to insert a bunch of records. That's why I'm using my square brackets there. I'm going to insert a bunch of records. And each record is going to look like a JSON or like an array of attributes. And so we'll say curly brace. Specify your column name that you want to work with, and then specify a value. And then I have a comma, and I specify the next column name. And then I specify a value. And then I have another column name, and I specify a value. That would insert one record. But we want to insert multiple records. So what we're going to do is put a comma. And then I'm going to hopefully save time typing by pasting in. Make sure you put a comma between each one. Four more of those. Notice there's not a comma on the last one. And then I'll just come in here and I'll change uh, the data that we're going to insert. Steve Rogers, Captain America likes email. Natasha Romanoff. Does not like email. She's off the grid. And then Carol Danvers. She, of course, doesn't do email. She texts. And so we have our four records that we're going to add using our insert. And then right here we'll say, after the insert, then we want you to send the result of what we just did to a variable called student. And then we want to go ahead and take the response and redirect it to the root directory, who in turn will do a select statement and display the data on that form. Now, what we also need to do here is make sure you have a semicolon and a semicolon to close those off. So this will now create a batch that says, if we ever go to add batch, we're going to add four records to the database. Let's save all of that. And let's look at our. Uh, index.ejs and make sure that it's using a student variable, which it is. So it looks like we have all of our data there. So let's come back to here and let's go ahead and start our server. So I'll go ahead and go to new terminal. Let's start our node. It's listening. Let's go run our website. And we'll go to the localhost 3000. Here's the data that we've been working with so far. And I'm going to go ahead and delete that ugly one. It's gone. Isn't that awesome that you can do a delete now? And then we'll do an add batch, which should those four records, but you got an error. So let's go back to our code in the index.js. Here we have an app post. This says this route will only be called on a post method. But if you remember, what is the default method when working with web pages. It's a get method. So if we change that app.post to be an app.get, which is the default, let's save all that. Let's go back and run your terminal one more time. 
and it's listening. Let's come back over to here. We'll go to our local host 3000. There's our data. Now let's go to the add batch. Up spelt correctly. And it adds four new records to your table. Don't worry about it if the ID number is wrong. So now we've added those four records. Now let me explain one more time what happened. Why didn't it work before? And that's because we were saying app.post. But by default, when you come over to a web page and you type in slash add batch, that's not a post method. That's a get method by default. And so it was trying to find a route add batch dot get which kept giving an error and that's why once you change this to be an app dot get rather than an app dot post it said oh I found the route what do you want me to do sorry I put that one in there just for testing you can get rid of that if you have it and it says well if you go to the add batch get meaning URL localhost 3000 add batch we then go to the student table we insert these four records and then we take that result and we redirect it back to the root and it displays the newly inserted records. And that's how you can add a batch of records.